uh, I just kind of wanted to come here to gain some perspective, but I am a disagreeer. Um, so seeing that we uh, talked about the housing market and we talked about, um, you know, the price of college, right, going skyrocket in America, if we look to our European neighbors, we're seeing them do a lot better in this sector, and that's because of centralized policies that America hasn't even started on yet, and yet you want like a free market kind of like solution. So how are, how are we failing, and how is Europe succeeding? Well, yeah, I don't accept the premise, but I appreciate the I don't think Europe's succeeding. But um, let me ask, I, I ask you a question. Do you think that there's too many people going to college in America? Uh, I do not. Okay. So what's the national college graduation rate? Ballpark. What do you think um, it is? How, what, what, people going in to how many people graduate? Get a diploma. Again, I'm, I'm not too familiar with yeah. the amount that's okay. That's, that's fine. Out. 59%. So 41% of people that go to college don't graduate. By a show of hands, how many know people that dropped out of college? Raise your hand. Every single hand goes up. Right. So we have way too many people going to college in America. So my first thing, my first belief, is that we have to decline college enrollment dramatically in this country. I'd say, well, Charlie, what are you going to do? Well, I will agree with you on one thing. It's where the Germans get right. It's that we need more welders and plumbers, electricians, police officers, entrepreneurs, and people that work with their hands. And a lot less people that are kind of in the cloud studying postmodernism, right? So I think college is a racket, largely. I think it's a scam. I think that young people are told to take classes that have no relevancy to their own degree. So let me ask you, have you taken classes that just you think are kind of a waste of time, or do you think it's all just been phenomenally meaningful? I feel like it's a step in, like, a, the right career, right? You get the right amount of, like, technical skills and it's also the right amount of soft skills necessary for the, you know, career that you're going into. And I feel like saying that people shouldn't be enrolling in college is actively saying that some people just don't deserve to go to college. And no, I don't feel like saying that's the that case. at all. I mean, I think college makes you poorer, makes you less happy, and less likely to flourish. So let me ask a question. Show of hands in the room. We'll use the democracy thing, right? How many of you have felt that you took a class that was a total waste of time, waste of money, and all that? Okay. I mean, so this is a scam, man. Like, if if I was a if I was a financial regulator. I would, uh, this is like Bernie Madoff stuff, man. It's like every question I ask, yep, I know people have dropped out. Yep, I took classes that don't have any relevance to your degree. And so the question is, what is the purpose of college, right? So if every college is like Hillsdale College, I'd probably agree with you. If you guys were studying Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, getting deep into the classics, rejecting postmodernism, understanding the beauty of the American founding, then so be it. But like if we have to have these like extended discussions of like Jacques Derrida and Michel Foucault and black only dormitories and what is critical theory, you guys are getting ripped off. And it, it, I believe firmly that, so what is the market response first and foremost? Get a mass, and this might be wishful thinking, get a massive portion of the population not to go to college, go into technical schools, learn to work with their hands, and value muscular labor again in our country, which muscular labor is insulted, talked down to, and I could prove it to you. Um, go to a suburban family, anyone, maybe in Cherry Creek or in Centennial or whatever. If you go to a regular suburban family, if you get a mom in private, she'll say, I just don't want my kid to work construction. Every suburban mom will say that. No matter what, I don't want my kid to sweat for a living. And okay, that has created a hyper-educated, very unwise generation that's super in debt and has pieces of paper and they mean absolutely nothing. Right? So it's a generation that has borrowed money they don't have to study things that don't matter, to find jobs that don't exist. So to answer your question, the whole thing's a racket from how we get young people from high school to try to go to college and all this. We need to disrupt it completely, end federal subsidies, end state subsidies, make college support themselves on, the own, on their own, make, make, colleges, so make colleges go raise their own donor money. For, the, like, for example, if like feminist queer theory is super important to you, fine. Go raise the money and support it on your own, right? Don't ask the taxpayer to underwrite that. And by the way, you look at Europe, just to finish the point, they're, they're getting away from woke universities. France has actually decreed, Emmanuel Macron ran on this, he said that we need to try to reject American woke ideology that is seeping into French institutions. So to kind of use your own example, Europe's rejecting the very same thing that I believe has infected American higher education. Thank you for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Thoughtful question. Thank you.